You're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out, too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Yes, Chloe Price was here. There's Chloe's cash stash. Sorry, Principal Wells. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present. That's my Chloe. Oh, no. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. It's such a warm, beautiful day. How could a killer storm just pop up tomorrow? You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Yep, locked from the other side.
David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Ouch. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. William never finished painting that wall. Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I wonder if David is going to the party. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? Shit. For once I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. <sighs> 